Hi everyone, and welcome to another video in our series on managing and maintaining your Kyocera Task Alpha MFP. My name is Sam Hammond, lead product trainer here at Boston Document Systems, and in today's video, we are going to be discussing the different ways that you can find the IP address of your copier. Now, the IP address is essentially the designation of the copier on the network, where it lives, what space it occupies on the network. This uh, this number can be used to access the web user interface of the copier itself, uh, which can allow you to edit some of the features of the copier from the comfort of your desk. We're going to be describing three different ways to access the uh, IP address of the copier. So without further ado, let's get started. The first and most easiest way to access the IP address of your copier is to, from the panel of your Kyocera Task Alpha MFP, select the Device Information button. In here, you will see IP address, and then you will see IPv4. And across from the IPv4 is your IP address. In this case, it's 192.168.1.71. Yours can vary uh, anything from 172.16.74, etc., etc. You might also see something called IPv6. The IPv6 is a more uh, complicated uh, network designation that is not commonly used. So for the purposes of this video, we'll be sticking with the IPv4 address. Now, let's say uh, that it's not listed here underneath uh, machine information. So what I can do instead is if I go to system menu and I go to counter, I can print a status page, which will list a whole host of uh, information on your machine, which includes the IP address. So I'll print a status page, confirm it. Once it prints out, I'll open it up. Now, I have scanned mine over to the computer here. So um, when I open it up, on the left-hand side, if we scroll down, you can uh, find a network section right here. And Underneath this, you'll see TCP IP, and then you will see IPv4. And then across from your IP address, right here, you will see the IP address of the device in question. This is the second way to locate the IP address of, the, of a copier. Now, the third way, um, and possibly the most technically complicated, requires that you be able to print to the device in question. So the first thing we'll do is we'll open up the control panel. We'll go to our devices and printers. Once I open up devices and printers, I will go to the printer in question and I will right click on it. From here, I may need to change the, allow for changes in properties, but if I then go to ports, I can pull over the port descriptor window and then I have access to see the IP address of the copier based on the TCP IP port that the printer was installed using. So. Those are the three primary methods of determining the IP address, either from the home screen of the copier or from the status page of the machine, and lastly, from the printer properties located on your computer. Once again, my name is Sam Hammond with Boston Document Systems. Thank you for joining me today, and have a great day.